Hey everyone, today I would like to speak to you about the uh, envelope generator. The envelope generators, in plural, are located on the right side of Helix. It says EG here, and that's, that's short for envelope generator. The first thing you might want to know is the EG1 is hard-coded to the volume of the voice. So no matter if you have some crazy loud distortion or whatever in the signal path, the volume will always be decided by this thing, by EG1. So now you know that. The next thing you might want to know is that you have eight envelope generators. So here you see four, and then if you click this little button, you get four new ones. So one to four is here, and five to eight are here. Looking at this uh, ADSR, that's uh, hopefully well known to anyone who's been uh, messing around with since for a while. The difference here is that each of the attack, decay, sustain, release, and release two stages have a, a time it takes to reach the level and uh, the shape that's used to get there, kind of, if that makes sense. So let's try to listen to this uh, test sound. That took a while to get to, uh, yeah, 1.5 seconds to get to the max volume. And changing it to the exponential, it will uh, get there faster. L is short for late, I don't know. It's not a common one, but it's useful sometimes to uh, combine with others. But uh, yeah, no, no, attack, decay, sustain, release. One thing that's different is that the decay stages level here is what's commonly called the sustain. So here the sustain is actually after the decay. So you could almost say it's a, it's a second decay. And uh, yeah, with having two stages, uh, enables you to do things like uh, almost simulate uh, the sound of a compressor. So if we have this shape, for instance, you hear that it will start, it will start to kind of swell up again if you, if you have the decay level lower than the sustain level. So check it out. Yeah, you heard how it, how it kind of swells back into after the first decay stage. So uh, after that we should talk a little bit about the attack velocity sensitivity, decay velocity sensitivity, and uh, level velocity sensitivity. If we have a patch with some kind of uh, attack time, like this, we can up this attack velocity sensitivity to something really high, and then what that does is that it changes the attack time based on the velocity of the the key stroke, basically. So if we hit the keys slowly, you hear the the attack will be really slow. And if we attack, if we hit the key fast, if we hit the key fast, it was going to be a short attack time. So same thing is true with a... Yeah, let's put this back to zero. The same thing is true with the decay velocity sensitivity here, that uh, if you uh, if we have this as, as a higher value, the harder you hit, the longer the decay. So short, long. And uh, you can also invert that with a negative value. Uh, then you get uh, the harder you hit, the shorter the decay time. And the level velocity sensitivity is uh, the amplitude of this thing. So uh, if you have this at max, the quieter you play, pretty much, the quieter the sound is. And if you took, put it at zero, you will not have any... The velocity of the keystroke will not affect the sound at all. And that's probably all you need to know about the envelope generators. Until next time, take care.